I'm gonna talk about why you should run node zero against your production networks. A lot of security leaders are risk averse by nature and don't wanna test against their production networks because they've been trained to not disrupt the business at any cost. And that's a valid concern. However, what you lose in that process is actually understanding the real state of your production environment. And the reality is that attackers are attacking those production networks and environments. And you want to know what your true risk is and what kind of critical weaknesses there are in your production environments that you need to fix. And it's nearly impossible to simulate a production network in any form because there's so many variations in terms of types of assets and other types of weaknesses that you may not think about that attackers are exploiting, such as issues in your EDR controls, your NDR controls, issues with weak credentials, or things that are just laying around in the open in your data. So it's really important to test against your production networks to find these critical weaknesses and fix them. With Node Zero, you don't need to make any trade-off in terms of risk of business disruption versus value of findings because we've designed Node Zero to be safe to run in production. And we've done that a few different ways. So first of all, there's a certain set of things that Node Zero simply does not run in any form. So these are certain types of exploits like denial of service, exploits that we know are gonna disrupt business and therefore they're not part of the product. Second, the exploits that are part of the product have been thoroughly vetted by our internal attack team, the team that's actually developing the exploits. We're not taking off the shelf exploits from GitHub and just putting them into the product. We're actually rewriting them, vetting them against our own internal cyber range of assets and ensuring that they're safe and aren't gonna have any harmful effects on the environment. And there are a set of exploits that are riskier to run and those are off by default and users have the control to turn them on if they want to. And if there are specific concerns about those exploits, users can also set up tests in such a way that they target a limited set of assets. So you can control the scope of the tests that you wanna run against. For instance, the IP addresses or the domains that the test operates against, as well as the schedule. So if you wanna schedule a test to run in off hours and off times and not have an impact, during certain critical hours of the day, then you can set up those exploits to run at those times. So by default, everything that Node Zero runs is safe to run in production and well vetted by our attack team. And finally, for all of the Node Zero tests that are performed, users can choose the scope of assets that they wanna test against. So you don't have to test everything at once. You can choose a specific IP range or a set of uh, domains that you wanna go after, and then you can stagger those tests using a schedule. So one week you can test one network segment, another week you can test another data center. And so however your network is segmented and your environment is set up, you can use Node Zero to continuously test your environment on a schedule. Your production networks contain your critical infrastructure, which often have the most critical weaknesses. The reality is attackers are targeting your production networks. So if you're not testing what your attackers are actually going after, then you're missing out on a huge amount of things that you might need to fix in your environments.